Good morning, afternoon, and evening. And like I always say, that pretty much covers the greeting for the whole world. Oh, shit. That's a genius stroke right there. That come from TW. All right, here's what we're doing today, guys. I was thinking about guitar players because, you know, I'm kind of a master on the instrument. I got some chops. I got chops. Shit. But anyway, we're going to do a Watch Mojo video of, like, the top ten band guitarist. So, without further ado, wait, 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 wait. Look, oh shit, I just seen it in the, where, where, I come to you from the sandy beaches of Timbuktu, Egypt. Look, I was brought here to go out with the Pharaoh's daughter. Oh shit, but anyway, without further ado, let's do it. Oh shit. Watch Mojo. Oh, shit! <laughs> I love it! Music would not have been the same if these guys had never picked up a guitar. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today Give we're counting page. down our picks for the top 10 band I guitarists of all time. Number 10, Randy Rhodes. <gasps> Rhodes exploded Randy. into the heavy metal universe after oh, giving Ozzy Osbourne music a new lease on life. I think I'm Though Randy ripped. Rhodes' time with the Prince of Darkness and Quiet Riot before that was brief. The classical guitar devotee left a legacy that is unparalleled to this day. You Despite bet he did. his short 25-year life, he'll always be remembered for his ability to make a whole lot of noise oh, with I just think a I'm few guitars bust. and special oh, effects. Oh, shit, I love Randy. Look. Number 9, Brian Ooh. May. While right there, hold on. That was epic. I love Randy. <sighs> Alongside the energetic Freddie Mercury and Queen, Brian May created some of the greatest nah. classic rock melodies of all time. As a true rock and roll oh. virtuoso, yeah, that's so long, there's nice. He's also played some of the most incredible act solos. May brings this all to life with his trusty guitar, the Red Special, which helps him produce the feedback heavy sounds and unusual effects that he can did. truly stand out from the You're all right, Brian. Number eight. Richie wait, Black wait, 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 I got something to add to that. See, I'm going to feed the baby birds. That guitar, that signature guitar that Brian May plays, this right here, only somebody like T.W. knows this. That was made out of his fireplace, like the prototype copies and stuff. Oh, shit, I'm a genius! Oh, shit. The legendary Deep Purple guitar. Oh, I love Richie Blackmore. I love Richie Blackmore. He also oh, brought shit. to life one of the best heavy metal riffs in history with the song Smoke on the Water. Yes. Oh, my God, listen, listen. Oh, shit. The success he found experimenting with different genres post Deep Purple merely proves that Richie Blackmore's talents know no bounds. Number I seven, you, Tony Iommi. With his big bad riff on Black Sabbath what the debut, Tony hair. Iommi transformed heavy metal oh. for the better. Not. That just made it all worth it. This guitarist developed his trademark loud and heavy sound oh, while playing shit. alongside talented vocalists such as Ozzy Osbourne and Ronnie James Dio. Thanks to songs like well, Iron what Man about and Paranoid, Geezer Butler heavy metal and Bill was Ward. never the same. Number six, Pete Townsend. He's almost as famous for smashing guitars as he is for playing them. Regardless, Pete Townsend quickly distinguished himself uh, with his loud and Wait, 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 wait. I don't know if I agree with this one. This right here, Pete Townsend maybe for showmanship, nobody better. But as far as guitar technical abilities and shit, I don't think so. He ain't all that. Maybe for songwriting too. But all right, Pete, you can pass. You in a rock and roll. I'll let this one slide. <laughs> well, despite his lack of formal training. <laughs> his guitar playing also we helped cement the Who's reputation again. as a live band and allowed him to carve out a solo career as well. Number five, Dwayne Allman. Sky Dog's passion oh, and ambition no. helped him achieve great his success. His best work with was the only Allman Brothers Brothers Band, But it was his one of a kind guitar tone, dynamic right, slide guitar yeah. abilities, and exceptional live improv skills that really shone through during his fleeting career. While he managed to hold his own with another guitar great, Eric Clapton, Dwayne Allman was taken from us too soon after a motorcycle accident ended his life at age 24. He's all right. 
Statesboro Blues. That's pretty awesome. Number four, David Gilmore. Though oh, the multi-talented musician played several Dave Gilmore's got the tastiest rips of all. I love it. Oh, David shit. David Gilmore's blues-inspired Ooh. style and evocative notes have produced some of the greatest. Shine on me, crazy history. diamond. Simply watch a live performance of Gilmore's Damn, guitar work, ugly. Uncomfortably Numb, and you're sure to be a convert. Number three, Keith Richards. If you're looking for inimitable riffs, you don't need to look huh? any further than the Rolling Stones' signature track, I Can't Get No Satisfaction. What? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, wait. I got, we got to stop that thinking. Is that, is that dude dead? He looks like a fucking walking skeleton. I, I don't know. I, I just don't see the technical abilities or anything like that. I mean, the Stones, they all right, you know, but I, I just don't see where guitar virtuosity or anything like that comes into play. But, uh, but let's, let's go on with it. Keith Richards' playing style may be simple. It's also unforgettable. By being able to stand side by side with Mick Watch Jagger's Mojo, voice you and got showmanship, it all wrong. Richards has more than secured his place as one of the longest lasting icons of rock and roll. Number two, Eddie Van Halen. He first right. onto the scene with Woo. his drumming brother Alex got and co-founded one of the biggest bad. hard rock maps in American you. history. Eddie Van Halen revolutionized dirty. guitar playing with his tapping technique and hard rock style. Mm -hmm. <laughs> While he continues to play with Van Halen, his originality and talent have already inspired many and will certainly inspire scores I'm more. erect again. Number one, Jimmy Page. Both as a co-founder yeah, of the biggest band of the that. 70s I'd let, I'd and as a musician go. in his own right, Jimmy Page permanently altered the sound of music by fusing blues, do rock, do and do folk. He may very oh, well be the, the greatest guitarist rock I've ever seen, as after face. displayed in Led Zeppelin's oh, Stairway to Heaven. Jimmy. Though he was influenced by Robert Johnson, one, the Rift King himself has left an immeasurable and all-encompassing influence on later artists that won't soon be forgotten. Do you agree or disagree with our list? Be sure to... That was number one? What the fuck? Where's Jimmy Pay or uh, Jimmy Hendrix? Fuck! Well, they, they got it all wrong anyway, because I'm going to let you all know right now. Like I said, I'm a master on the instrument, and I can, I can tell you right now. I can emulate, I'm not saying playing perfect, but I can emulate Randy Rhodes, I can emulate Eddie Van Halen, George Lynch, but there's two guitarists that I cannot emulate. Dimebag Darrell, I can pull out some tricks that gets close, but Marty Friedman of Megadeth, formerly of Megadeth, Rust in Peace album, go get it. That guy is su superhuman. It's, I, I, I can't even talk about it. I can't, oh, I just got chills. He's so incredible. But anyway, oh shit, this was an all right video. You're all right, Watch Mojo. Hey, you guys make sure you check, you subscribe, check TNJ, TNJ Rock and Metal Talk out, and subscribe, like I just said, like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you know, all the usuals. Hey, peace out.